I'll start out and show you the the old I'll show you the woodwork first the old woodwork first um, it had started delaminating so I, as soon as I started taking it apart I decided to wasn't going to use that I'm going to use some of the hardware I'm going to use these handles and these little latches the other side of these has remained in place this seems to have been a substandard product compared to the other parts of the nav station. The other parts of the nav station aren't doing all this falling apart. So, um, it's getting replaced with oak veneer. That's all I had <clears throat> locally. I'm not in a marine area. I'm up in the north, north part of Mississippi. And got half inch oak veneer. Uh, veneered on each side. Um, it's probably, time-wise, the most expensive piece of plywood you'll ever see. The second one would take me an hour to do, probably. This one took a little while to get it designed, and a big part of that was getting the piano hinge mounted in the boat in the nav station exactly where it needed to be to where this closes perfectly. It's a little harder than it looks. Um, at least it was for me on the first time. Again, the second go-around would not take as long but getting that lined up it's like mounting a door with the door shut and not being able to go into the room you're mounting it to so <clears throat> i'm going to waterproof this and humidity proof this with west systems epoxy the two part the 105 the epoxy rosin and i'm going to coat the back side with at least two coats and then the front side i'm either going to just use polyurethane or epoxy sanded and then a polyurethane i'm i'm going to experiment with that on the back side to get the best looking front side and waterproof front side so once all this is done i don't think it will it will come unlaminated like the old one did here's the old panel uh it focused more on DC. Um, it only had one, it only had three AC breakers, the main water heater, and then a after the fact, um, on the left-hand side of the nav station was another 15-amp uh, AC circuit breaker for the air conditioning. But like I said, it was focused, or DC-centric, I'll say. Uh, there's more concern back then, I guess, with DC than there is AC today. Um, these are these were switches, not circuit breakers. Then the circuits were protected with a with a uh, round glass bus fuse, like a old car's head. A little Perco style rotary um, battery switch, and the back side. You can see it was starting to patina. Kind of looks like the Statue of Liberty down in there. Um, everything still worked. The AC kind of concerned me greatly. Once I saw the condition of it, I was kind of shocked at a few things that they had going. There were a lot of what, what I'll call a double tap, where they take multiple wires. Here it is on this DC negative side here. There's three wires in a single wire crimp connector. Um, modern standard is one wire per connector. Um, all of this up here, there was a distribution block here for the AC. It was all three. You had you had hot, common, ground. Uh, all on a three gang block. And everything was stacked up and double tapped. <clears throat> and lot, there was some burning you know, some of the wires were, uh, the insulation was kind of melted and a lot of dark, dark spots on it and everything. So that will be resolved with the new one. My new panel by Paneltronics. <clears throat> so there's a separation between AC and DC. Now we have AC circuit breakers for every branch circuit. 
and of course circuit breaker for every DC branch circuit. Panatronics makes it. I got it on Amazon for $480 delivered. I actually got it for free on my Amazon points. So <laughs> the only part of this project that was free. <clears throat> um, so we had voltmeter with four selection switch. So I can read four different DC voltage sources and then my uh, DC load and amperage. Um, got a main. 30 amp main and these are these are 15 amp uh ac and then they split it up or have th and all of this came on it everything you see here came here i do not have a washer dryer i was just putting i was testing one of the stickers to see how well it stuck on there came with two five amp two ten amp two ten amp two fifteen amp and let's go to the working side of it and there she is. Very nice. Ready to go. All you have to do is hook up your incoming wires to it and then start hooking up your branch circuits. And it is ready to go. I did find this terminal to be loose. So tighten all your terminals, tighten all the screws. I went, after I found that to be loose, I went and tightened everything in it. And my only complaint about this, um, and it could have been a serious one. Um, then there's a there's a separator here. It's zip tied in to separate your AC from your DC side. Nice product. Unfortunately, I think I got the last one on Amazon. They're no longer available after I ordered this one. Um, but they are available elsewhere. Uh, Panatronics. You can go to their website. Uh, everything about their products I've seen so far is nice. And they make a lot of OEM panels. 